Hello everyone. Um, here I'm going to show you a couple new features of GTBS. Um, this is for the RPG Maker VX Ace and this is still not complete but it is getting extremely close. Um, the amount of bugs open now is very few and so I would invite you guys to come out um, start gra grabbing it and uh, testing what you can and if you find any bugs please do report them um, and I will give you the details on how to do that here at the end of the video so stick around and um, I will show you how to get uh, your copy of GTBS VX Ace. So first off here is your starting project. Now um, this is um, your basic setup for a map is you have actor tiles. Um, here you can see the name of your um, event as well as the event ID number. Um, but the actor number one tile um, or event, what this does is this allows you to place your character on the map um, as to a specific party index. So our party, if we go to our systems tab, is Eric and so on. This number here this actor one, um, or, or in order of your actors here, um, is the um, number that is used um, on your actor tile here. So if I had actor one, two, three, four, and five, then you would be able to place or have those characters automatically placed. Now, if any of you guys have ever played Final Fantasy Tactics, one of the cool features of it is, is that you get to choose where you place your people. And for that, we have a place event you can highlight and place numerous of these, um, as well as neutral events. Um, here I actually renamed this for other testing, but we can go ahead and rename that back. So here we've got a neutral event. Um, and a neutral event, um, let me open that back up. Here you have neutral and then 50. Now what does the 50 mean? If we go into our database and onto our actors tab and scroll down until we have 50, it is Isabel. So Isabel is going to be our actor number 50. She's going to be a neutral party in our battle. So um, I've also made additional changes. Um, here you can actually specify items inside of your um, note tag down here, um, such as secret hunt. You can also specify um, the range of skills. Let me go ahead and find one here that's got one. So I've got fire who had some associated with it. And so here you can see, you can specify the range. You've got the maximum range, the, um, the splash or um, area of effect damage. And then you've got um, a couple other variables, whether or not to include the caster in its skills and um, whether or not it's a line-based skill. In other words, whether it should shoot straight or whether it can be a fill. And then your minimum um, range, which is zero indicating that there is no minimum. Um, one would be at least one tile away from your character and so on. So let's go ahead and we're just going to apply that and play this um, to show you how it works. Um, uh, I forgot to mention for enemies you just place them with the keyword of enemy and then number one would be the first enemy within that troop. In this case, we're just going to fight some slimes, so there's only two of them being placed. And so let's go ahead and try it out. So here we've got our project. We can go ahead and scroll down. We're going to go ahead and start this up and go through it. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to this guy, and we're going to go right into battle. So here we've got our battle. And inside of our battle, um, we can then go ahead and place additional characters if we want. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just finish with that so we don't get too many people on the battlefield. Sorry if that's too loud down there. Alright, so once we've got that, we can go ahead and um, our monsters are going to go ahead and start attacking. This is our new side view battle system within the GTBS. So when you um, perform an attack um, and so on, it will actually bring up that side view system in order to deliver the attack. Um, you've got the ability to guard and specify your direction which you're going to finish. You can pull up your standard status, items, special, or specify attack areas in order to um, deliver. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and guard for this round. Since she was poisoned, she was hurt. He's going to go ahead and cast poison on these guys. 
and um, let's go ahead and let's fill, kill these guys pretty quickly. Now, if you notice, this uh, move area looks a little funny. And the reason for that is um, there is a thing called encounter move method. Um, it allows you to prevent them from walking right past an enemy, um, the, um, allowing them to control an area. So here we've got um, one new feature as well. The moving will cost you three TP, are you sure? Now, this is a new feature that I implemented in order to effect um, have action points. So um, since, since VXACE already has these implemented, I just took and piggybacked that and added it to our move functions so um, that it would spend TP based upon that. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and as you can tell, our balance of TP did decrease. We can then go ahead and um, kill this guy. So let's go ahead, let's just hit him. We can deliver our attacks, and then we're going to go ahead and guard. Now our witch here is going to go ahead and finish him off. And then here, if you noticed, there was an additional monster that just joined our battle. Now, what happened there is you have the ability to call additional monsters onto the battlefield at any time. So we're going to go ahead and kill this guy. She always uh, hits twice because that's her uh, config in the database. And so he's going to go ahead and attack me. And she's going to probably finish him off right here. And there you go. Almost. Let's finish this guy off with style and kill him with fire, shall we? Alright, let's get down here. Magic. Fire. Kill this dude. Boom. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and earn any money that was due. And then you're going to go ahead and gain any levels for anyone who's in the battle. And then you return to the map in the uh, position in which you called it, unless you've got some specific exit information. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to show you a couple more features uh, a little later, but in the meantime, that's all I've got. So I will catch you guys later. And, um, oh yes, um, let's go get a copy of GTVS. So if you uh, open up your web browser, and I'm going to actually undo the zoom right here for that. So here is um, my development website, and this website here is redmindev, that's uh, R-E-D-M-I-N-E-D-E-V, at dyndns.org. Now, once you get here, you'll be um, displayed with this page exactly. From here, you can see um, the different public projects which I have posted, and here you can see that um, we've got Alpha 7. Now, mgoobler is me, it's goobyd. Um, but you can come in here and you can select this, and then you can see um, the current uh, items that are up for testing. This is for our people who have been working with the project. So this is Alpha 7. Um, hopefully I'll be releasing Alpha 8 tomorrow, so um, come on back here, check out the news, and you'll always have a download link at the top section of these in order to go get um, your download for the project. And if you click that, of course, it will go ahead and forward you out to my Dropbox in order to download that item. So um, you can also go here and um, on the main page, um, you've got the ability to go to our chat. Um, here you'll find me quite often. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect here. Um, not always a lot of people here, but um, I usually stay logged into it pretty regularly. So come visit and hang out. And then also, um, you've got the ability here to browse the bugs and features and so on, but you also have a wiki. Um, so here, inside of the wiki, you can go into our documentation, and in our documentation, it's still incomplete, granted, but inside of here, you can come in and you can find out much more about the engine, about how to configure it. Um, so here you've got a page that goes through all the different options, how to configure them, what the defaults are. Um, and there's lots of information out here. If anyone's willing to come and help me finish filling out this documentation in order to fully document the system, um, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you want to be able to post anything, um, be it in the forums that are built here onto the website, 
or the fact that you want to post an incident um, or an issue that you have encountered. In order to do that, you come up here and you select sign in and you sign in as yourself. Um, so if you haven't uh, created an account yet, um, then you'll need to click the register button up there. So once we've logged in, um, it will show your name up here in the corner. And from that, you should be able to see a couple of new things, specifically the new issues um, tab. When you click on that, and it's being a little bit sluggish, but in any case, once you open that up, you can then go ahead and um, put in a subject, fill out a description, set a status for it, and then you assign any of the people who have previously um, reported issues. There's quite a few people here, so um, give thanks to them for helping test out so far. And as you uh, create issues, you'll be added to that list as well. So once you've done that, you can keep status on your issues by opening the Issues tab. And then you can come in here and you can select things that are only assigned. Um, or actually, let's go Authored. So if you set the author and allow that to be you, you can see every um, item in the project that you have generated um, and their IDs, what their current status is, and um, how close we are to getting them all done. So um, that's just a quick overview of it. Um, you can also just see in our news as well as in our forums where things are currently at. So please come out, uh, check it out, and download your copy of GTBS 2.0 for VX Ace. All right, guys. See you later.